This is another Bronco video. Did you order your Bronco yet? Or did you get your Bronco yet? In fact, are you looking for a Bronco? So if you are any of those three things, this video is for you. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Bombo. My Bronco is the Black Diamond. It's a four cylinder, 2.3 liter engine. So first, I was one of those lucky ones that was able to get the Bronco at MSRP. This is the sticker and if you can see that guess you can yep right there so i paid forty six thousand four hundred and twenty dollars now the one i specifically have has a lot of extras no not a lot and i think i have alexa it's weird i already have siri because he has apple carplay but it does have Alexa. There's three things I wanna cover in this video. The first one is why consider a soft top? And if you're gonna consider a soft top, what are the things you're gonna be giving up? And the reason I wanna cover that because a lot of owners recently that ordered their 2023 Bronco, it's either they have to switch their order to a soft top or downgrade some of the packages. Now, if you really want your Bronco to arrive, and the only way for you to get it is get a soft top. I'm going to show you a little bit of information and what it is or what it feels like or how it feels like to own a soft top. And also, I want to talk about the five things that I like and five things that I wish the Bronco had. We know that the hard top already has, you know, some problems, some rattling issues. And for the soft top, the issue that you're going to come across is really the road noise and how much you're willing to live with. So I'm going to show you some clips on slow speeds and in a freeway and see if you can live with it. We're going to take a drive and see what kind of noise we're going to hear on slow speeds and on high speeds. All right, let's go. Main thing I've noticed as soon as you pick up speed or as soon as you accelerate, you'll definitely hear the engine. Right now we're about 45 miles per hour. So picking up speed. We're about to hit the freeway soon. I'm about to hit the on-ramp. At 80 miles per hour, because this is a soft top, you can kind of hear the plastic on the side, the side windows kind of flapping around, so you can kind of hear it. All right, as far as really road noise, you know, semi passing by, that gets, you know, loud. It's not really a deal breaker. The video that I recorded might be too loud or I, I don't know. It really depends. So real life, I suggest take it for a test drive. If you find a dealer that has a soft top in, in the lot. One thing I like about the soft top though, which I have not tested yet because it's still winter is taking that off or putting it down or top down. You know, it's a convertible basically. And the next one is the temperature right now in Illinois. We're pushing about negatives, negative one, negative 10 sometimes. As far as the temperature, it gets cold. Yeah, as long as to crank the heat up, it, it's not it's not bad. It'll get toasty inside. So I don't think that's a problem. I don't think that's something that you need to worry about. That's really it for having a soft top. Now, the five things that I like about the Bronco, the number one is the look. This thing is beautiful. The lines, it's gorgeous. It looks aggressive, it's unique. There's not a whole lot of Broncos on the road, so if you have one, it feels good. Next one is customizability. I really like the fact that you can make it your own. You can add stuff, remove stuff, and it's a form of a self-expression. It's a statement. You can add so much things. You can go bigger tires, smaller tires, skinny tires. There's so much aftermarket products. A lot of different companies are making different things for the Bronco. So that's really exciting. I love it. It's a money pit. That's what it is. The third one is the tech features. The wireless CarPlay. I love it. No wires. Hence, it's wireless. I've had CarPlay before. I just don't like all the wires hanging in there. And, you know, it just I love it. And, you know, the Ford Pass app is good. You can turn on or off or unlock or lock your vehicle from anywhere around the world as long as you got cell signal. And it tells you so much information about the about your car, like the diameter, the fuel. Next, I also like the 
back seat that reclines a little bit not a whole lot but you know i think it's good for the passengers but i like it and the last but not the least is no carpet unless you get the outer banks you you'll get a carpet easy to clean vacuum quickly wipe it down done those are the five things i like about my bronco specifically the black diamond and if you don't have the black diamond you may or may not have some of these features or you actually have more features than what i have next let's go to what i don't like about my bronco number one no usb plug there is one usb and one usb c right there in the middle console but those are only for your infotainment which means it's for carplay or android auto if you plug other than your cell phone there, it's going to tell you it's not compatible. They do have a lot of those cigarette or those power sources. There's a hole on them. They're all over the car. There's one in the middle console. There's one in the back. There's one all the way in the trunk. So just be aware. You, you're going to have to buy one of those power USB adapter that goes in those slots so you can charge other things besides your phone. And the next one is smaller tires. Man. If you look at this, unless you have a Sasquatch package, the Bronco looks like somebody that goes to gym all the time and skips leg day. It's terrible looking. The black diamond that I have actually comes with general grapper. It's a uh, all-terrain tire, so it looks very aggressive. I love it, but man, 31.5-ish, not even hitting 32 inches thickness of the tire. Why not just go straight with 33 inches, Ford? Like how every single Bronco that has no sasquatch package just start off at 33 inches at 33 inches you don't need a lift you don't need leveling kits you don't need anything extra it does fit with zero rub why not just start with 33 inches and be done with it? and now obviously the first thing i want to do is uh put bigger tires on them because it looks better next one as we talked about because i have a soft top there's always going to be rattling and the easy fix for this without spending any money is turn on and turn up my radio. A lot of people complain about the the, the audio quality. I don't care really, it, it's decent. It's not like great, but it's decent. Last one, and definitely one thing I hate. Yes, I can tell you one thing I hate about the Bronco is the markup, jeez. Especially now, it's probably gonna get worse because they can't fulfill their orders right now. So if a dealer has a Bronco in stock, I can guarantee you they'll mark that crap up all the way to $15,000 and it, it's criminal. What can you do? Not buy it. That's what you can't do. Anyway, that's it for today. My name is Bombo. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you on the next video. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.